Hansen! Hansen! Hang loose. Okay. It's, I rushed into this now. My mind's blank. <laughs> Welcome to Mongus Max Hawaii and newspaper. This is the kind we go over the headlines in the newspaper. Got it right here, actually. Oh, oh God. Jeez. Okay. Huh. Uh, hmm. Yeah, so let's see. I know what I'm missing. <laughs> Some go <goo> juice. <laughs> Yeah, that helps. Okay, slow down, down. Jeez. All right. Um. Yeah, I had this weird dream, you know. I was staying up late and then um, waking up early and then staying up, you know, wee hours and then waking up early. So I just took a nap, my power nap. I had a dream, and the dream, it was. I was someplace like a island in a hot in a house <laughs> wasn't it was like someplace else like I've never been but it's kind of like one of these island style houses and I was with some I think it was famous youtubers it's like they, the ones that are really successful and got a lot of money or something it's like they had this their own place you know where a lot where it had like a lot of traffic too like a lot of other youtubers or, or, or other people I'm not even sure and that's not nothing no one specific not even at all it doesn't even resemble anyone I can think of and but there was a lot of traffic of other people going through like regularly going through like a, a constant people going through like a youth hostel type situation and I don't know I went in there and and we we're gonna me and two friends that were good friends and then we we're gonna go to this you know, it was like a we went to one place and we we're gonna go to that 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 place over there and it was gonna be really cool and it's kind of adventurous off the road island thing or something like off but i got to that place and everyone put down their stuff i put down my gear at three little cameras like three camera stuff i don't got much gear you know like a like little spare camera or something like that but we went to that thing and and they were telling us about it and I was like, oh boy, I was all, oh, this is so special and oh God, I feel honored to be here and oh, this is going to be neat and with my friends and, 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 and you know, and it was like, we got their like backpacks in a row kind of thing and there's like 20 people about to head off. You guys like saying something like, yeah, yeah, blah, 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 blah. It was kind of, rem we're in a remote place, but we're going to go someplace even remoter. So all of a sudden he goes, yeah, blah, 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 man. Come on, let's go. You know, get the, he said, get, get your gear, let's go. And he just walked out. And my two friends just like, had their stuff in the backpack and followed him. And I was like, looking around, oh shit, don't forget that, don't forget this, don't forget that, don't forget this. And I was like, where did I put that? You know, and I was like, oh, what did I do with that? Oh, okay, this backpack, do I have everything? And by, I was doing all that, they were long gone. And I was left behind. And not only was I left behind, I was in a place that I didn't know how to get home from. So something kind of said something. Well, you could uh, you could stay here, or I could drive you back. You know, I could get you back. You could drive back home, or you could stay here. And I was like, oh man, you know, because there's this next wave of people coming through here, and I'm in the remote of nowhere. And I was like, oh, God, I just want to stay here. It's like, shoot, screw it, just take me home. And so. Uh, same thing kind of happened. It's like, come on, let's go. Well, I don't actually drive. It's a case case this bus. It's kind of this shuttle bus type thing. It's like a, like an open, I don't know, trolley. And then it was like I had to get my stuff and go onto this trolley thing. And I was going onto this trolley thing and I forgot something and I had to go back. And so like stuck going back and forth. It's like limbo. It was like some type of weird limbo purgatory hell dream <laughs> it's like abandonment weird i wasn't like scared but it was just so tell me how do you feel about this dream they're coming to get me what do i score on the scale of <laughs> what the f is that? Anyway, 
Welcome to my dreams and my nightmares. Just thought I'd share that to be a little different. It actually has no point at all. <laughs> There's no point to that at all. I don't believe in dream analysis too much. I think it's like you resort your deck of cards and you wake up with your deck shuffled. Nothing special. All right, now let's go. Okay, here's the Honolulu Advertiser. Yeah, yeah. Welcome to September 1st and the month of September. Happy September, everybody. I'm going to hear that. Okay, Anderson and Sapinda. Espinda. Espinda. Sorry. I got that so sorry. I got your name wrong. Hey, whatever. Need it. Better luck next time. <laughs> You're lucky to be having me reread the newspaper to you. <laughs> Thank you. So, um, this guy's the health director, and this guy's like part of the head of the prison system thing. And basically, they go, you know what? I quit. So they're leaving. They're leaving their posts. And um, it's just when the heat is on, things are getting hot and heavy. <sighs> they're going, what about this accountability? How come you haven't done this? The COVID thing is going on. What have you done about it? How come you didn't do that before? And he's like, the health director, okay, 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 I'm out of here. In the prison, we'll triple C. That's like the big, whatever. That's Hawaii's super max. It's just a prison. It's just a big prison for here. They're in there, and it's, there's an outbreak inside the prison, and it's starting to spread. And they're like trying to figure out to release people, and put people in what the hell we do it's prison it's prison in the prison in the comics are like i'm scared but i'm scared i get angry i was like oh my god so they're outbreak in the prison is a thing so this guy's like okay okay this outbreak's getting in the hand and they're breathing down my neck okay okay you know what i'm out of here <laughs> and that's kind of like that story over here we have 133 cases so basically, locking people up does work. <laughs> Physics. There's a big giant testing in the H3 freeway. It's a giant, huge three freeway over here. They're not from here. I don't know. I you know. I feel like I'm talking. You know, maybe somebody in the maybe sometime in the future, should be thousands of people watching this video. Nah. <laughs> Millions. That's what it is. Arg. So the H3 is this big freeway. It's the third one to go up. I guess that's why I found the number three. I don't know. Guess so. He goes through the mountain, the Koala Mountain Range. It's the latest, it's the newest, it's the biggest, and it's like ee hee hee. And um, they're shutting it down all day, today. Matter of fact, they started two hours ago to shut it down. And it's about seven o'clock right now. Do we have it? Yeah. What's the soundtrack without the tick, 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 tick in the background, right? How annoying. Yes, I actually can see the tick, tick, tick. I listen to it all night when I sleep. Tick, tick, tick. Your time is running out. And so, um, basically, uh, yeah, it's seven ten. So. They've already started the testing. Cars go through, and as you drive by, they stick a Q-tip up your nose and you keep driving to the next table. Then <laughs> they pull the Q-tip out. <laughs> and then they drive to the next table and they stick it in the little vial. Next table, they forget to put the label on the vial. <laughs> and they show this guy sticking a thing up his nose all by himself. Because you can stick it up and stick for long as any. She just put your head back and just do it. Okay, so that's what that's about, sort of thing. John Oliver's gonna have a sewer. You know, that's a whole other story. It's pretty funny though. Sewer plant. You don't name it after me, I'll give it to you. Trump can't stop the violence. You know why? Says Biden, declares. You know why? Because. We didn't start the fire. You could do the Billy Joel song on that. <laughs> Go 
soundtrack that would be like we didn't die. I kind of hate that song <laughs> somehow something tells me I just unleashed an idea that might be promoting uh, the horrors that I have okay Belarus now this is the the country where they don't like the president and so they're having violent protests Here's an example country. This, I mean, you guys gotta look at political, you don't have to, you do whatever you want. You jump off a cliff. Have yourself a ice cream sundae. Or whatever, banana split. <sighs> okay, this guy ruled, okay, this guy ruled 9.5 million people with an iron fist for 26 years. Iron fist is like code in a lot of ways. Iron Fist. He dismissed protesters as Western puppets. <laughs> Western puppets and rejected European Union's offer to mediate. He's gonna do it out by himself. But instead of like, you know, sending <laughs> after ferocious crackdown demanding demonstrations for free days, he calls it okay. The first days after the ninth August 9th, the presidential vote caused international international outrage. His government has avoided has avoided large scale violence. They're, they decided the government decided not to have large scale violence on the protesters. But instead, they're switching to selective jailing. I shall put you in jail and off to the gulag you go. I'm just saying. Parallels run. There's only so many ways you can do things. As government to do it. You know the number of botched cases? It all comes down to. God, this is a mess. It comes down to. There's a thousand cases botched. That was yesterday. They didn't put the label on the, on the vial. So they put the label, they have the name and whatever on the form, put it in the kit, but there's no label on the vial. That's how the thousand got botched. Well, we figured out that <laughs> the botched no botched number is now up to <coughs> seven one thousand seven hundred and seventy six. <laughs> no. Okay. And um, they, they, they tell the, you know, there's a Texas lab that's going to do these things. It's like, oh, come on, just push them through, you know. But, 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 but it, it, it cannot be processed because it's, 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 it's not. I can't find the, find the little quote. What did we get a second email? Crap. Crap, I say. But basically, and there's, there's a saying in the thing. Come on, push it through, push it through. And the lab's going. But that's against uh, laboratory protocol. Because <laughs> by the time you're in the lab, you just get the little vial. You don't get. Anyways, it's still stupid. Uncomfortable recovery because morbidly enough. Uh, by the time you get this thing, if you do get it, it's um, it's iffy. You know, it's like you're kind of you're in the hospice zone. You know, age 37. You could die, you know, so make you comfortable before you kick off. So now they're taking off. So, you know, like that's people don't, I don't, I gotta agree with nursing homes, hospitals, you know, when older people don't like to go to hospitals. It's like, you're going to die. Unspoken, like elephant in the room shit, you know? So, eh, you know, they have hospital at home. Because that's what happens that makes you more happy. This guy, man, he's like sitting there discovering the pre-World War II polar expedition to the Antarctica. He was like 19 years old right there in the picture. Has a little star. There he is with 100. He's 100 years old. He has a mask on. See? Smart. You too can be 100 years old. <laughs> I don't know. And there's not much in that section, so I'm not even going to tell you how much there's not much in it. And letters to the editor, maybe we can get there. But right now, 
my time is limited and I want to cover this story here. So I'll do it in some type of shoddy fashion, probably. Second wave of virus grips Spain. You know what that means? Sucks to be in Spain. <laughs> blame it on the Barcelona. <laughs> That's what it means. And truly, blame it on the Barcelona game. Okay. Uh, it used to be Italy, right? No. Now, Spain. Okay. And so they're going basically major second wave and how they're dealing with it. And uh, it starts off this article. At, at, this, at, at midnight, there is patient 31. And then 15 minutes, there's patient 32. In the second paragraph, the garbage can by the dollars overflows is mass and booster. So they should have switched it as a writer. The first paragraph should have been right off the bat. The garbage can by the door overflowed with masks and blue surgical gloves. Bam! Such a picture. Visual. And then the patient 31. Okay. Writers. Writing. But anyways, I digress. Of course, why not? It's all about me anyways. <laughs> it isn't really. It's about you. In 1776. Okay, if Italy was the harbinger of the first wave of European Europe's coronavirus pandemic in February, Spain is the portent of its second. Is portent a vocab word now? Portent? Nah. <sighs> With more, okay, in the past week, recorded more new cases on the continent by far. European continent. More than 53,000 thousand cases that is bad as uh, India wasn't it with 53,000 cases with 114 new infections per 100,000 people at that time the virus is spreading faster in Spain than in the United States more than twice as fast in France eight times the rate of Italy and Britain and ten times the space of Germany and now come the runs and come the runs and then outside land here comes the it's Spain by a nose unmasked nose perhaps Spain is the canary in the coal mine you know that if the coal mine is dangerous or not miners used to bring in the little canary cheap 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 yeah it was a cheap way to do it and if you had a pet bird you say Time for, you guessed it, it's time warp time. Ready, ready, <laughs> okay, you know the drill. Uh, ready, set, cut, ready, three, two, one, Whoo! Yeah, that was fun. Betcha that's getting old. All right. And so it is, and so it is. Back to Spain, or not back to Spain. Okay, the median age of the sufferer dropped from 60 years old to 37 years old. That is the median the age of people getting this. Asymptomatic cases account for more than 50% of the positive cases, which they're accounting for all testing. H3 freeway. Asymptomatic, half of them. So this is what we're I'm saying here is, this is a big thing, and you can learn other places can learn. Explanations why the rise. The youth part. Family gatherings. The return of tourism in cities. Hmm. Like Malaga. <laughs> Never heard of that. The oh that's maybe the Mary Magdalene. Malaga. Yeah, she's a the decision to return the responsibility. <laughs> the decision. To return the responsibility for combating the virus to local authorities. The surge has also been blamed on the revival of nightlife. Because people are dancing next to each other. People are close. They like to get to know each other. If you know what I mean. Beds continue to fill up in hospitals because they're cramming in bars. Mass midnight time. And after the beach, you know, beach and the bars and the beach, and then after midnight, the pontoons go out in the water. And they're all squirming around like one giant unmasked orgy. What time is it? Yeah. Some teenagers recently covered. Some were 
teenagers who said, I had a mom form that I recovered. Therefore, I'm immune. Teenager, I'm already immune. I don't have to deal with you. Others felt the pandemic restrictions were overreacting. Here's a quote. I don't think COVID is real, said Victor Bermudez, 23-year-old. At an early morning gathering of a pontoon jutting out into the Mediterranean. Well, yes, it's real, but it's not as serious as they say. You know, because they tell they talk in Spain. Like they're from the... It's serious. It's all a plan to kill the poor and boost the rich. <laughs> they like that stuff in Europe. America and conspiracy theory. They have to kill the poor and the rich. Yeah, that's the, they don't like that. They're pretty nasty. Nasty little. But, you know, the national coordination is improving. The central government last week agreed to delay, to de agreed to a delil. Unique New York. Agreed to a deal to deploy 2,000 soldiers. Mm hmm. As contact tracers. <laughs> In the meanwhile, in the hospital, the biggest one, they can process tests faster in the single morning, thanks to the recent purchase of a series of robots. So yes, here comes zombie apocalypse. On the other side, there's the up unrest, and then there's soldier contact tracing armies of tracers <coughs> and robots. And I don't know, we're not going to do, this is not going to happen in this episode. I don't want to make these too long. Gardens, community, community gardens should stay open, they're healthier. Written by Leela Gardner. Gardner? She wants the gardens to stay open. Can say she has vested interest. People need to act safely, of course, per capita death rate. Uh, swimming pool burneth trees. Expense, uh, fucking needs to know the truth. <laughs> what truth? The truth, the truth is nothing but the truth. It's all a lie. By the way, Trump wanted to imprison one of the governors from New York. Which was kind of funny because this one said, We need a person like the guy, the governor in New York. <laughs> jail. She went to jail. <laughs> cool. Anyways, I think that's it. All right. Hang loose. Hang loose. <laughs> I'm trying to make fun of this stuff. It's just weird. Hang loose. Anyways, there's different kind of videos, so like, subscribe, and all that cool stuff. Share it with your friends. Watch to the end. If you're already seeing this, you're already seeing the end. So, aloha. Hang loose.